As more of us are spending time on our smartphones, whether for work or school or just to stay connected, it is becoming glaringly obvious if your smartphone can't keep up. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and the good news is if you're looking to upgrade, there is plenty of choice on the market right now. The LG Velvet 5G smartphone just landed on my desk here in the test kitchen, so I will tell you what it can do and whether it might be a good choice if you're looking for a new smartphone. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The sleek and minimalist Android 10-powered LG Velvet is slim and thin with a 6.8-inch edge-to-edge screen that's becoming much more common today. Why is it called Velvet? LG says the eye-catching finishes shine to create the illusion of velvet, but if you ask me, there's nothing matte or buff about this phone. It's all sleek, shiny, and slippery. I'm not going to get too deep into the specs here because, as you guys know, I know that most of you come here having already read the basics. You want to know what this phone is like in the end user sense, so I will stick to more of the practical features, the how-tos, and what this phone is actually like to use. One of the big appealing factors about this phone is the 5G connectivity, which should make the phone much faster to use once 5G service rolls out across Canada. What's the deal with 5G? 5G is a new network standard for cellular connectivity. 5G allows for faster downloads, lower latency, and better smartphone performance overall. Actual 5G access across Canada is kind of hit or miss right now as carriers are still rolling it out in, of course, the bigger cities first. With that said, I did not have access to 5G service during my testing period, so I can't make any claims about how well the phone uses this more powerful network. But if you're looking for a phone that will be able to access 5G in the future, the Velvet will have you ready for this new technology. The LG Velvet here has a 4300 milliamp hour battery. That is a pretty good size and should last most of the day for most users. But of course, that all depends on what you're using your phone for and how often. Fortunately, the Velvet here also has super fast charging as well as wireless Qi charging built in. As with most smartphones these days, the major allure is the screen. The 6.8-inch cinematic full-vision display is meant for movie and video watching. Pretty much anything and everything looks great on this device, and if you can find content in the exact 20.5 to 9 ratio that movies were meant to be viewed in, it is pretty amazing. Cameras on smartphones these days are rivaling DSLRs. There, I said it. And for the average Jane or Joe who would never take the time to learn to use a DSLR, that means it is still possible to take stunning photos. The LG Velvet here has a 48 megapixel rear camera. It's actually a triple rear camera. There's also an 8 megapixel camera on here and a 5 megapixel camera. LG says the camera promises brighter, clearer photos even in low light. While there is a panorama and manual camera mode, I didn't see a dedicated macro mode, but there is 10 times zoom. The close-up photos I took of flowers looked a bit like impressionist paintings, so a lot less detail than I would see in a macro mode, but kind of neat effects. Overall, I'd say the photo quality is good. I did notice that the colors can be a little fake looking when you're using the AI photo mode, but the built-in photography helpers in this camera can also help you up your photo game in other ways. You can shoot videos up to 4K on the LG Velvet phone. To switch the resolution in video mode, just tap the third icon from the left to change from full HD, which is the default, to 4K. There is also time-lapse control, allowing you to control the speed of your time-lapse video while you're recording. There's also ASMR recording, which allows you to amplify quieter sounds. Another feature of video mode is the ability to zero in on certain audio. LG calls this voice bokeh. If you're not a great photographer, AI mode lets the phone's brains help you take better snaps. In photo mode, just tap the small five dots to the bottom left of the viewfinder here. In this mode, the camera will see what you're trying to shoot and adjust to create the best photo. It'll change and adjust whether you're shooting people, landscapes, or high motion activities like sports. There's also AR stickers, which lets you capture photos and video with live and dynamic augmented reality effects that mesh with 3D face mesh technology. The stickers will move as you turn your head or move the camera around just like they are stuck in place. 
Overall, the LG Velvet has a lot of features. The camera is good and it has a lot of extra photo features. The screen is gorgeous and the phone is light and slim and sleek and fast. It's also future-proof for when 5G comes to a wider Canadian audience. The LG Velvet here sells for about 600 Canadian dollars and as you know, you can get it for a lot less as part of a contract. If you want to read more about the LG Velvet, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where you can find a full write-up. You can also ask me any questions you have about this device, either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.